Good afternoon. I am Father Wilfred Almoneda. Good afternoon once again, Father Wilfred. At ako naman po si Tess Banyares Delphine. We welcome you once again, ladies and gentlemen, sa ating pong mga taga subaybay. Welcome once again sa ating special Peña Friendship Program ngayong taong pong ito. Dadali namin sa inyo ang Novena Masses in preparation for the solemnity of Our Lady of Peña Francia, Patroness of Bicolandia. At tayo po ay nasa ikaanim na araw na ng Novena Masses dito po sa ginagawa nating Special Peña Francia Program. At uh, sa ilalim po ng tema, sa lindong kanmanto ni Ina or under the mantle of Ina's protection. And this protection actually is always felt by all of us, Father Wilfred, na mga Bicolanos alike. And hindi lang po yung mga Bicolanos dito po sa lunsod ng Naga, kundi po sa buong mundo. Yesterday, we reflected on Ina as our healer and protector. Ngayon naman, ating pagninilay-nilayan ang tema na Ina as our hope in the midst of our despair. Tama yun, Father Wilfred. Inspired by the prayer to our Nuestra Senora de Peña Francia. Totoo po na sa ating paglalakbay na kasama natin ang ating mahal na ina sa ating buhay dito sa ibabaw ng mundo. We say as above all in the hour of our death, we ask our mother to appear before her son. Okay, ngayong hapon ay makakasama natin ang isang sharer na isang um, frontliner. Siya isang doktora. In the name of Dr. Myla Baturiano. Doctor? Today we thank the Lord through the intercession of Ina, the Virgin of Peña Francia, for the grace of healing and merciful compassion. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Myla Baturiano a pediatrician in Naga City, and I've been practicing for almost 25 years. And I never stopped working since this pandemic began. I am a COVID-recovered individual together with my husband and daughter, whom I'm also speaking in their behalf. More than three weeks ago, after my swab test and that of my husband and daughter turned out positive I couldn't believe this controversial virus has invaded our very lives. My life seemed to have come to a halt and gripped with fear and anxiety, I could have died that instant. As a healthcare worker, I knew that anything worse can happen to us. The emotional ordeal was worse than the physical pain we were going through. I have to tend to my husband and daughter who were both weak, and my other kids to remain strong and healthy. Trying to be strong myself, despite the symptoms I was also experiencing. Five days later, my husband, who was getting weaker, then oxygen requiring, was admitted to the Bicol Medical Center Intensive Care Unit. My apprehensions mounted even more. Thanks to my hardworking colleagues and BMC nurses who took care of him in the hospital while we were on lockdown. They always updated and sent me assurances virtually. On the day of the Blessed Virgin's birthday, we were tagged by DOH as COVID-free. And on the day of the translation, my husband finally got home from the BMC COVID ward. Amid all these difficulties and turmoil, our only source of comfort is our faith and trust in the Lord and our devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Last March, when my older kids went home from Manila because of the lockdown, we started praying the Rosary as a family event every night at 9 p.m. for the intention of protecting us all from the coronavirus. This has become a family prayer for us. As a mother myself, my prayer was to find strength and courage in the Blessed Virgin Mary's inspiration, our Ina, the Virgin of Peña Francia. We were all greatly supported by the sincere, powerful prayers offered by family members, relatives, friends, colleagues, and workmates, and even some of my patients. On the spiritual realm, we have all been unified by this pandemic 
to call on and knock on God's divine protection. The power of community prayer has strengthened our faith and trust in the Almighty Lord. Indeed, instead of discriminating against COVID patients, we all must rather endeavor to pray, support, and protect for the more immediate recovery of these patients. According to my husband, because of what he went through, he learned to value the more important and essential in life, growing stronger in the devotion to the Lord and our Ina, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Virgin of Peña Francia. That is inexplicably true for myself as well. And so I pray that we will become examples to our children to keep the faith alive and burning. As a healthcare worker, it brings me sadness and disappointment that our COVID infections are still on the rise. Our hospitals are overburdened and health workers are also getting sick. I'd like to end with the appeal to everyone that since we would have realized by now that our lives are intertwined, we should be mindful of others and be responsible enough not to cause harm and affliction to others. Let us help one another overcome this virus by following the protocols. Each new day is a new beginning. Only the Lord knows when all this co will come to an end. But we should do our part as well. And the difference should come from our own homes, our own families. If only we protect and nurture our own families, for sure change will emanate from this to our community. Even without the physical devotional activities in this time of pandemic, let us pray unceasingly for more miraculous recoveries and strengthen our faith and devotion to our beloved Queen, the Nestra Senora de Peña Francia. Let's all continue to pray for everyone's safety. Mabalos po.
Mga kaibigan, atin pong napanood ang isang experience na pinag-share sa atin ni Dr. Myla Baturiano. Maraming maraming salamat po, Dr. Myla, for sharing with us the health crisis that you have been through in this time of pandemic. Ngayong araw pong ito, kasama natin ang isang pari. Papakilala ko po ang kasama natin ngayon, Reverend Father June Oliva. Siya po ay parochial vicar ng Our Lady of Peña uh, Francia Paris and assistant director ng Family Life Ministry ng ating Archdiocese. Father Wilfred ang unang magtatanong sa kanya kung ano ang pwedeng spiritual, spiritual advice na pwedeng hingin natin kay Father June upang siguro mas konting maibsan ang mga kalungkutan, stressful situations that is happening around us today, especially that we have been experiencing this health crisis or this pandemic now? So, siguro alam natin na uh, yung simbahan, lalo yung diocese, ay meron parang program for families. Uh, ngayon, uh, medyo iba yung situation natin because of the health crisis. And then of course, lahat naman tayo natatakot, ano? Mga families. So, siguro yung family ministry, ano ang uh, step or do you have any um, program or activities para sa families natin? Okay, yung una po, yung about po sa family ministry sa Arts Diocese po natin, hindi po nagkukulang ang family ministry sa pag-guide, especially po yung mga, ngayon po kasi yung advice, hindi na po yung talagang face-to-face, -face. more on na po ngayon na virtual. Kaya doon din po ginagawa po ng mga members po ng family ministry sa pangunguna po ni Father William Santiago na talagang nagre-reach out po talaga kami kahit po virtually patuloy po silang nagre-reach out especially po dun sa mga crisis nasa crisis po talaga especially po yung mga family kung saan talagang nag-undergo po sila ng despair nag-undergo po sila ng mga napakahirap na situation na kung minsan lalong lalo na po ngayon hindi makalabas yung tao um, actually maganda nga yung uh program ng ministry kasi uh, as they reach out sa mga families uh, nakikita rin naman natin yung coordination ng, ng kanilang members no? uh, as they pray together as they attend mass together through uh, live streaming no? and then <clears throat> mas nakikita natin mas ladong nagpapaigting yung pagkakaisa ng, ng members ng family Father. okay po Yung live streaming po na ginagawa ng Arts Diocese at ng lahat ng ano. Kaya sabi nga po ninyo, yung pinyapransya po natin kakaiba ngayon because we celebrate at home. Ito din po yung opportunity para sa mga families na i, yung si Mama Mary, talagang siya yung maging, isang maging center ng tahanan. Kung saan mas lalo nilang papaigtingin yung kanilang debosyon, hindi lang po sa pagsisigaw po natin ng Viva la Virgen, kundi po nakikita po sa loob mismo ng tahanan. Kung baga, Father, yung lahat ng ating mga bahay-bahay ay naging isang maliit na simbahan. So, Father, apart from the virtual na ginagawa ninyo through, through internet, meron din kayong ini-inject sa mga homilies ninyo kahit na. Kasi di ba nakakapagmisa na rin tayo, although sabi natin 50% lang ang pwedeng pumasok sa simbahan. So, you also have to inject some of these advices doon sa mga homilies uh, na ginagawa ng mga pare, mga kaparian natin dito sa Archidiocese. Di po ba? Opo. Kasi nga po yung isa sa mga center na po natin ngayon, doon sa bahay, doon sa tahanan. Kaya ito din po yung sinasabi every time po na mag-homily po yung mga pare, talagang focus po, focus po doon sa pagpapalago ng ating pamilya. And maganda dyan, kasama ng mga katekis, yung ministry na bibigay ng theme. Parang halimbawa, this Sunday, ito yung, yung pinakang theme ng readings and uh, reflection. And then meron silang binibigay na parang catechesis about the, uh, the family and then the um, church, di ba? Okay. Marami ngayon ang mga nanay, mga magulang tulad ko, na sobrang natatakot para sa kanilang pamilya, para sa kanilang sarili, sa pamilya as a whole, sa kanilang mga anak. No? mga bata na doon sa loob ng bahay. So, what spiritual advice, Father June, ang pwede nating i-share dito sa ating mga televiewers na 
simpleng bagay na pwede nilang gawin para maibsan kaunti yung takot nila. Having been so aware of what is happening around us, maraming nakakasakit, maraming namamatay. So these are some of the fear na kinatatakutan talaga natin ngayong panahon na ito. Lalo na na-stop lahat or nagkaroon tayo ng stoppage of all the activities, economic activities that we have been through all throughout the, the, the days of our lives as parents, as, uh, as tatay, as nanay. Okay. Una sa lahat po, huwag natin pong kakalimutan yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Huwag po natin harapin yung pandemic na ito sa pagkatakot. Kasi po kung pagkatakot po yung, yung magiging front line po natin sa pandemic na ito, hindi po tayo magiging matatag sa ating sa ating pananampalataya. Kaya siguro po, napakaganda din po nung celebration po natin ngayon ng Peña Francia. Kasi po, si Mary, siya po yung magiging ano po natin, protector. Siya po yung magbibigay po sa atin ng lakas. Despite po ng mga kahirapan na dinaranas po natin. Papasaan at malalampasan natin ito soon, no? So we just have to cling on to our faith talaga. We just have to cling on to our devotion as we adore our Lady of Peña Francia. Gearing towards our nearness to Jesus. And uh, huwag rin natin makakalimutan yung challenge ng simbahan na si Mama Mary ay nandiyon sa inyong bahay. And then instead na pupunta sila sa Naga for the annual celebration ng Peña Francia, uh, ginawa nilang parang Paris-based celebration yes, yes. but the Paris also um, encourages um, yung mga families na magkaroon ng devotion kay Mama yes, Mary because they have their local Peña Francia in their own parishes yeah, po, talaga po. and then um, maganda doon kasi sa amin yung mga families meron silang ay mga maliliit na mga images ni Mama Mary nilalagi nila sa altar and then they pray the novena together uh, sa party pong ito nais po namin hinga ng uh, Ilang saglit pa si Father John Oliva para bigyan pa po tayo ng mga inspirasyon or some thoughts about sa mga programa na ginagawa nila sa family ministry ng Archdiocese ng Cáceres. Father June? Okay. Una po, yung, yung bukas po yung office po ng family ministry sa katabi po ng office po ng katedral. Nandun po yung office ng family ministry. And yung lahat po na members ng family ministry dito po sa buong sa arts diocese, sila po ay bukas rin yung kanilang puso. Sa pag-advise, kung may mga katanungan po kayo siguro po, i-browse nyo na lang po yung Facebook kung saan makikita nyo po yung family ministry. At yung may mga, pag may mga concern po kayo, may mga katanungan po kayo, may mga problema po kayo tungkol po sa family life, wag po kayong magdalawang isip na itanong po doon at sasagutin po kayo doon. Mayroon po tayong mga kasama pong mga may alam, mga expert tungkol po sa family life. Kaya kahit po ngayon nandun po kayo sa bahay nyo, pwede nyo pong ipaabot yung inyong mga hinain tungkol po sa family life. So bukas na bukas po ang kanilang opisina, mga kaibigan, para sa ating mga nais na itulog sa kanilang opisina. And thank you also, Father June, for sharing with us some thoughts about your spiritual advices on us na we have to cling on, we have to like even have more experience our strong prayer life with uh, God and with Mary na nakaantabay sa ating lahat para malalampasan natin ito at pasa pasasaan po ito at malalampasan natin lahat ang pandemyang ito. Father uh, Wilfred? Uh, actually, nandito, nandun pa rin yung paboritong-paboritong uh, line natin. The family that prays together stays together. Yun lang, kasi very powerful yun na thought and very powerful na ano, reminder sa atin. Apart of course from the health protocols that we have been experiencing all throughout every day of our lives, so Hindi po natin dapat kalimutan na tayo po ay may Diyos na sa ating pong paglakbay sa buhay na ito, naaanjajan lang po sila para sa ating dasal at para sa ating pananampalatayang mas malalim sa Kanya. Muli po kami ay umaanyaya sa inyo na samahan kami sa natitirang araw pa ng ating Nubina Masa sa ating mahal na ina, Kinuestra Senora de Peña Francia. Father Will? Okay, ngayon... Uh... May we invite you join us in the Novena Mass and uh, we will dispose ourselves 
as we start our Eucharistic celebration. Please like our FB page, Archdiocese of Cáceres, where you can watch the daily novena through the live streaming. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.
September is a month that always excites the Bicolanos and non-Bicolanos alike, most especially the devotees, we the devotees of Our Lady of Peña Francia. Once again, we are given this wonderful month to celebrate the feast of our Blessed Mother, our Ina, Our Lady of Peña Francia. And the theme, my dear brothers and sisters, of this year's celebration is fostering dialogue and harmony in the spirit of Mary's gentleness and humility. Indeed, when we look around, there seems to be a widespread divide all over the world. Issues of racism, issues of poverty, of injustice, of corruption, issues of extrajudicial killing, and above all, presently, we're all, we're all going through a very difficult times of the pandemic of COVID-19. Nonetheless, our spirits cannot be broken down. Our spirits cannot be hampered. We continue to celebrate the face of our Ina, who will teach us how to dialogue and to work for harmony in our society, in our various communities. And this is what the world needs today, peace, relationship of goodness, of justice and kindness, not just with one another, but also with creation as we celebrate 
the season of creation. Dialogue and harmony opens our hearts to communication and it is only through communication that we build up the bond of our humanity. When we do not speak, when we do not communicate, the more we become alien. The Blessed Mother speaks to us of God because her life, entire life, is one of dialogue and harmony with God. She who has said, My soul glorifies the Lord. It is the soul that always dialogues, a soul that is in harmony with the will of God. Through her and in her, we will learn a lot to be humble, to be gentle, which are the ways to true and authentic dialogue and harmony. My brothers and sisters, I know you have your own petitions, longings and desires to present to the Blessed Mother during her fiesta. Please do not forget to pray for harmony, to pray for unity, and above all to pray for the capacity to dialogue with one another so that we can foster peace, justice, and above all, charity. And this is the meaning of our celebration of our Lady Peña Francia. Mary is our Ina, who facilitates communication and dialogue with God and with one another, because we are indeed the family of God, and Mary is our mother. Mabuhay ang satong Ina, mabuhay our Lady Peña Francia. God bless you all, and happy fiesta. And during this uncertain times, please deepen your devotion, your prayers, yes at home, but your hearts in heaven and with one another. Happy Fiesta! Viva la Virgen! Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us now pray the novena to our Virgin of Peña Francia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Speed. 
act of contrition. My Lord Jesus Christ, through God and through man, in whom I believe, in whom I hope, and whom I love above all things, I am deeply sorry for having offended you because you are infinite goodness. And through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Mother, the Holy Virgin Mary, whom I would like to honor all the days of my life, but most particularly during this novena, which I dedicate to the glory of her most holy name, I promise never more to offend you with the help of your divine grace. Amen. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Please all kneel. O most lovable Queen and Mother Mary, whose sweet name gladdens the heavens, consoles the earth, and daunts hell, O peerless greatness granted to you by Him who is omnipotent, that all might share in the benefit of that plenitude, namely, the sick their cure, the sorrowful their consolation, the sinners their forgiveness, the angels their joy, and the blessed Trinity untold glory. I have recourse in this novena to you as an armor for my defense, as medicine for my health, as a consolation for my grief, as an effective relief for my burdens, as a help unto the remission of my sins, and as a universal remedy for all my needs. Therefore, I beseech you time and again, and frequently repeat these sweet words, Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. May I receive from your mercy and benevolence a participation in the benign influence of your name, and may I become one of your most faithful children, so that living always under, under this precious protection, may I be granted the special intention of this novena, if it be for the greater honor and glory of God and the salvation of my soul. Amen. Amen. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Now we greet the sweetest name of Mary with the following prayers and Hail Marys. Mother most beloved, in all occasions of my life, remember me, a miserable sinner. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Aqueduct of divine graces, grant me abundant tears toward the forgiveness of my sins. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Royal Queen of heaven and earth, be my help and defense against the assaults of my enemies. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Illustrious and beloved daughter of Joachim and Anna, pray to your divine Son to grant me the graces I need for my salvation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Advocate and refuge of sinners, be at my bedside at the hour of my death, and open for me the portals of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In silence, we offer our personal intentions. Prayer for the sixth day. O most perfect Queen and Mother Mary, I humbly beseech you, 
O Virgin of Peña Francia, to make me a faithful imitator of our merciful Lord, who makes the sun rise to the good and the wicked, who makes the rain fall for the just and unjust, who does good even to those who do him evil, that we may likewise tolerate the wrongs of our fellow men, that we may bear patiently their offenses, wishing them the salvation of their souls, that the Lord may also have compassion on me, forgiving my sins and leading me on the way to eternity, where I may bless and enjoy Him forever. Amen. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Responsory, O Virgin Mary, most beloved of Peña Francia, thee we call. To thine protection is entrusted our land of Bicol and of all. O Virgin Mary, most beloved of Peña Francia, thee we call. To thine protection is entrusted our land of Bicol and of all. In you we trust, we fully rest. Bring us safely to heavenly bliss. Abandon us not in this earthly test, and never forsake, so we will be blessed. O Virgin Mary, most beloved of Peña Francia, thee we call. To thine protection is entrusted our land of Bicol and of all. We kneel before you now, to, to God implore us now the forgiveness of our sins. To you, O Mother, we ask from thee that sin we reject now and through all eternity. O Virgin Mary, most beloved of Peña Francia, thee we call. To thine protection is entrusted our land of Bicol and of all. Heed, O Blessed Mary, the trustful voice of pleadings of your entire children and devoted pilgrims. O Beloved Mother, hear us, we beseech thee. All our humble prayers to heaven thou bring. O Virgin Mary, most beloved of Peña Francia, thee we call. To thine protection is entrusted our land of Bico and of all. Prayer to Our Lady of Peña Francia. Turn to me thine eyes, O most loving Virgin of Peña Francia, and have mercy on my soul that comes to thee full of repentance. Protect my family, my relatives, my friends and benefactors. Intercede for your devotees, both the living and the dead, especially for those whom I am, I am most obliged to help. Pray for me, console me and save me in my hours of peril, adversity and afflictions above all in the hour of my death appear before your divine son to help me and defend me tell him that i am your devotee that having complete trust in your protection i kneel before your miraculous image to ask for your powerful intercession virgin of peña francia pray for me help me console me and deliver me from all evil. Amen. Holy Mary, help of the unfortunate, strength of the faint, health of the sick, pray for all the people, intercede for the clergy, plead for the devout feminine sex. May all who call upon your name feel power of your intercession with God. Grant to us, we praise you, O Lady, Secure help in the struggle against our enemies. To your faithful people, rejoicing in the name and protection of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, vote safe, O Almighty God, we beseech you, through her loving intercession, to be delivered from all evils here on earth and to be accounted worthy to enter into everlasting joys in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the final hymn.
Brothers and sisters, please kneel for the Horatio Emperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. O Divino Rostro, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Peña Francia, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint John the Evangelist, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. We are now me. We are now on the sixth day Novenari Mass in honor of Our Lady of Peña Francia with the theme Living in Harmony with a human frailty. Today's Mass is intended as the day for the sick, the elderly, and health workers. In attendance, we have the Office for Religious Movements and Organizations, Oremos, Guardias de Maria, Confradia de San Jose, representatives from Red Cross, hospitals, infirmaries, and home for the elderly, and Gillian Ministry. Our Mass Presider and Preacher is Reverend Father Ace D. Barasena, Formator, Holy Rosary Minor Seminary. Please all stand to begin our celebration.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from the present sorrow and come to enjoy 
eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. The prophet Isaiah is telling those hearts whose hearts are afraid they should be strong in God, for God will come and save us. Let us now listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame live like a stag. Then the tongue of the dumb will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, and rivers and the strip. The burning suns will become pools and the thirsty ground is springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Respond, Soya Psalm. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, my saving horn, my stronghold. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. The breakers of death surged round about me. The menacing floods terrified me. The cord of Seol tightened. The snares of death lay and wait for me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. In my distress, I called out, Lord, I cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. They attacked me on the day of distress, but the Lord came to my support. He set me free in the open. He rescued me because he loves me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. The letter of James tells us that in times of hardships, such as sickness, we must pray in faith to God. Those who are sick should ask for the elders that they may anoint it and restore to health. The second reading. A reading from the letter of James. If anyone among you is suffering hardships, he must pray. If a person is in good spirits, he should sing a hymn of praise. Is there anyone sick among you? He should ask for the elders of the church. They in turn are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. This prayer is uttered in faith with reclaim the one who is ill, and the Lord will restore him to health. If he has committed any sins, forgiveness will be his. Hence, declare your sins to, any, to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This sixth day of Novena Mass has the theme, Living in Harmony with Human Frailty. Living in Harmony with Human Frailty. It is said that all drama begins with human frailty, with human limitations, imperfections, and weaknesses. This brings us to a classic question or a typical question which I believe had been also our personal question, especially when things or circumstances then made us uncomfortable. The question is, why did God not create humanity so perfect that no human frailty could exist in it? And these human frailties, dear friends, are concretely exposed or sin in the present time, especially with the poor, with the sick, and the unlucky. In a word, suffering. Human frailty is concretely seen in the suffering of the poor, 
the sick and to those who are not so fortunate. And it is sad to know that human frailty often tears people apart, tears us apart, and even tears us, tears our own selves. It's like, I am rich, you are poor. We even say some saying, just work, do not complain. It's like, I am strong, you are so weak and sick. It's like, I know what I am doing, you know nothing. It's like, I am lucky, they are not. These painful words can be heard from people with the desire to always seem or appear better than others. Dear friends, to avoid such trap is to live in harmony with human frailty. Complacency is never an option here. As someone may say, it is my fate anyway. To live in harmony with human frailty means to be humble and to accept truly our weaknesses. It is then, it is when we humble ourselves before God. It is when we accept that we are weak and full of defects. Only then we allow God to redirect our lives to His plan for us. In other words, it is then we allow God to feel what is lacking in us, to cure our defects and bring perfection in our lives. Therefore, human frailty never becomes a curse to humanity, but in fact, our guide in our journey towards Jesus. Still, my dear friends, living in harmony with human frailty makes us or enables us to think beyond ourselves. And therefore, this requires us to walk an extra mile. To live in harmony with human frailty helps us to see others' frailty. Each of us, in the history of our own lives, we can say that frailty is real. It's been part of us being human. We passed through many sufferings. Let us make good use of our experiences of suffering extended to us by our frail humanity. For indeed, there is truth in the statement, only those who personally experience it are then able to live in harmony with others. Only then who personally experience it are then able to respect, care, and comfort others. Human frailty is never a hindrance for everyone to live in harmony. God enables us, all of us, to be intelligent and free causes to perfect its harmony for our own good and that of our neighbors. Jesus, in one of his prayers to the Father, for us, his people, he said, that we may all be one. He wills, therefore, that we are to journey and live in harmony amidst our differences, defects, and limitations. We are to journey and live in harmony amidst human frailty. Catechism even points out that God that in God's perfect design, we are created in a state of journeying from having imperfect life toward perfection yet to be attained 
and to which we are destined to. Going back to the question, why did God not create humanity so perfect that no human frailty could exist in it? St. Thomas Aquinas explained that with infinite power, God could always create something better. But with infinite wisdom and goodness, God freely willed to create a world in a state of journeying towards its ultimate perfection. To accomplish this plan, it requires our cooperation. That is, at least, to live in harmony with others together with their imperfections. Ina, our Lady of Peña Francia has been our lively, gentle, and humble model in living harmoniously with the rest of humanity and its frailty. She is humble enough to accept, to accept her limitations, but she is able to see the light and cooperate in accomplishing God's plan for all of us. Let us pray then for the grace of humility and let us continue as well to gaze upon Mary whose life was but a humble life yet became a significant testimony that to be humble is to be truly blessed by God. Her humility, her fiat to the will of God paves way for our perfection and salvation. And so we pray, Our Lady of Peña Francia, pray for us. Amen. Let us all rise. God, our Father, we present to you our needs and petitions with strong dependence on the motherhood of Mary who leads us to your Son. We pray, Lord, Lord through, through the, Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayers. For the leaders of our church, our Holy Father Francis, our Bishop Rolando, in all the bishops, priests, deacons, and religious, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, they may also experience Christ's healing, grace, and remain joyful in serving the Church. We pray. Lord, Ruina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayer. For the world, that through the prayers of our Mahal na Ina, may God deliver us from the scourge of COVID-19 pandemic. May He look with compassion on the afflicted, grant healing to the sick, peace to the dying, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love. We pray. Lord, Lord Ruina, the, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country, that with the love of Mary, they may serve the people with the true spirit of justice and charity, especially in this time of pandemic, we pray. Lord, through Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, Hear our prayer. our prayer. For the sick, the elderly, and the victims of coronavirus, that the grace of God channeled through the Blessed Mother strengthen them and enable them to remain hopeful in life. May they experience Christ's healing presence. We pray. Lord, through Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, Hear our prayer. For those doctors, nurses, health workers, and volunteers who are on the front line of this health emergency, 
and are risking their lives to save others. That with the protection of the Manto of Bina, may God reinforce their heroic effort, grant them strength, generosity, and continued help. We pray. Lord, through Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayer. For all of us here, that with the guidance of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may live in harmony and grow in faithful imitation of Christ who has given us a loving mother to also serve as our inspiration. We pray. Lord, through Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayer. For those who have died of COVID-19 and all the dead, what, that they may now rest in the company of God, we pray. Lord, through Ina, the consoler of the sick and the elderly, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, heal us with your loving mercy. We pray that with Mary's intercessions, we may continually experience your Son's healing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord. We ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god and to praise bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin mary our lady of peña francia for by the overshadowing of her whole of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like to the do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread in giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended He took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Rolando, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Peña Francia, Mother of God, with the blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I'll stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily in the mystery of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the sixth day. O most perfect Queen and Mother Mary, I humbly beseech you, O Virgin of Peña Francia, to make me a faithful imitator of our merciful Lord, who, who makes the sun rise for the good and the wicked, who makes the rain fall for the just and the unjust, who does good even to those who do him evil, that we may likewise tolerate the wrongs of our fellow men, that we may bear patiently their offenses, wishing them salvation of their souls that the Lord may also have compassion on me, forgiving my sins and leading me on the way to eternity where I may bless and enjoy Him forever. Amen. Virgin of Peña Francia, pray for us. Salve Regina, Mater misericordiae, vita dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. Ad declamamus, exules filieve, ad te suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum valle. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilius tuos, misericordes oculus, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, os hoc exilium, ostende, o clemens, o pia, Virgo Maria, ora pro nobis sancta di genetrix, ot dignificiamur promissionibus Christi, oremus omnipotens em paterne Deus, qui gloriose virginis matris Maria corpus et animam, ut dignum fili tui habitaculum ifici mereretur, Spiritus Santo cooperente preparasti, daut cuius in memoratione leita amur, 
Ius pia intertitione abistantibus malis, ita morte perpetua libere mur, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some word of thanks. In behalf of Reverend Monsignor Doe P. Bajola, our parish priest, we would like to extend our gratitude and thanks to the Hermano and Hermana Mayor, to all the mass donors, offerers, servers, and all who participated in preparation of our Novenari Mass today, to our Mass presider and preacher, Reverend Father Ace Baracena, and to all of you who are present here today, and those who are watching or present via online, salamat po. Dios and magbalos. May God bless us all. Viva la Virgen! Viva la Virgen! Viva la Virgen! The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Son of God, redeem mankind. May he reach, enrich you with his blessing. Amen. You receive the author of life through Mary. May you always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. You have come to rejoice in Mary's love. May you be filled with the joy of the Spirit and the gifts of your eternal home. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Viva la Virgen. Viva! Yeah.